Good morning and welcome back. So I figured we would do something a little bit different in today's video. We're going to do a craft with me video. Um, but I'm going to show you guys this calendar along the way. Um, I was going to use it for my office in um, like where I post my videos. But it's a little big. So I am instead going to cut it. And we're going to make, I don't even think I'm going to have to do this, honestly. I think I'm just going to rip it and then I'm going to trim it down. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, they have really, really cool images. Let me zoom you guys out just a smidge so you could see a little bit better. Um... All right. So anyway, they have really amazing images. I got this calendar from Tuesday morning. And like I said, I was going to use it to record my videos, but it's just, it's too big. And the images are really, really cool. So I figured we could use them as covers. But if we use them as covers like this, this is going to be upside down. And even if we do it like this, then the picture is going to be upside down. So I'm going to cover the upside down parts that don't make any sense to be upside down. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But they're really pretty. Like, I'd be really, really, really cute journal. And I can make um, fairly simplistic journals. Um, I don't really do naked, naked journals too much, but I can um, definitely do some springy like that. I mean, that's just cute. I still need to zoom out one more. I feel like, yeah, that's better. I mean, you guys can see my little box right here, but that's okay. Like, he's just adorable. And let's grab some of these other side. Um, so this one is going to not necessarily be anything of importance. Also, too, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, but there is a little bit, maybe, right there you might be able to see it right there but anyway there's um there's a texture on this you could hear it but anyway and i thought that it would be really fun to play with that texture Oh, and that one pretty. So pretty. So pretty. So anyway, yeah, we're going to just do a little craft with me video. And while I'm sitting here taking this apart, I am going to also back the backs of them because, well, um... There's my three staples um, because they're upside down. So, yeah. Also, you guys might notice that my nails are a different color. They're purple instead of blue. I had to go back today to get my nails redone. I actually went for this one here because it had, it had cracked right at the tip of my nail because my nails, these are, these are tips because my nails grow up. And so they have to kind of make it to where my nails will go down instead of up because otherwise I'll be hitting them on everything under the sun, and which is not good. I've already bruised my fingers several times. Um, but anyway, so there was a crack in the acrylic because I went back to acrylics as well. And, um, while I was there, he fixed the one 
and this was the guy that I normally go to when I got them done yesterday. Um, somebody else had done them, not the guy that I normally go to. And uh, anyway, so, oh, this is right at 12 inches. Okay. Hmm. All right. So anyway, this is going to be nine. So let's go here. So anyway, the guy that um, normally does my nails, he went to fix my nails and um, he fixed the one and, and then he started fixing all of them. And I was like, were they that bad? I don't know anything. Oh my gosh, it was too funny. All right, I'm going to take just a little bit more off the top. I want to leave the scripture. These are actually scriptured and I'll read them to you guys if you're interested. Um, I'm going to take a little bit off the top, but I am going to leave the actual scripture so it stays put. Um, I actually didn't realize that it was scriptured when I bought it. I bought it because the images were really pretty. And a friend of mine was just like, um, cause I was like, is it that coincidental? And she's like, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did this the wrong direction. Well, I can't use this one. <laughs> oh yes, I can. I didn't do it the wrong direction. I did it the right direction. Yeah, I did it the right direction. All right. So we are going to make it 11 and a half instead of 11 though because I want to take, uh, no, I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. All right, so we're going to do 12 by 9, which means we're going to be taking off the tops and the bottoms. Sometimes more of the top than the bottom and sometimes more of the bottom than the top. Okay. And this is going to hopefully give us 12 new journals. Um, uh, if I can do, yeah. Uh, let's put you at the top since you have more. I don't think I can do these two at a time. I cannot. That's all right. All right. I want as many of those apples as possible. We're going to cut all the way to the top here. Okay. And these will be single signature, soft cover journals. There's several ways that you can make these. Um, and we'll go through the process. Um, I'll just do these with the, like the craft with me videos. I will try to continue on the same project. So we're not <laughs> bouncing around quite so much. Uh, I like this one. This one's Valentine's -y. And what's really great too is I can use these in collaging, which is going to be really fun. Oh, I can't see my time. There we go. So I have been doing some arranging and <laughs> rearranging. I swear I am constantly organizing and reorganizing. You know what my husband told me the other day and again today? He is trying to convince me to live in an RV. And I have no problem with other people that live in an RV. If it works for you, it works for you. And I am happy for you. I am not a minimalist. I like my stuff. <laughs> I am not materialistic. but. I like my supplies. 
I like having supplies. I like being able to just go into one of my three different rooms and pick stuff up and be like, you know, I feel like playing with yarn today. So I'm going to go get my yarn out of the garage and I'm going to play with my yarn. Live in an RV. We don't have a garage. Therefore, I don't have yarn. I'm going to go into the hallway and get my beads. Live in an RV. We don't have a hallway. I don't have beads. Anyway, I hope I have convinced him to stop trying to torture me because I don't want to get rid of my stuff. Um, now, I do know that I, I do need to, um, to sell down a little bit because we have at least one more move in us um, for the military before we're done. Now, he might stay in for 30 um, because we're looking at buying a house. And, um, because like I said, I'm not living in an RV. I can't get rid of all my stuff. I would cry. Um, but we're looking at buying a house and we're looking at buying a house in Washington. Um, if all else fails, we will buy one in Tennessee, which is where my dad lives. Um, but as of right now, we're looking in Tennessee or in Washington and the houses out in Washington are pricey so we're gonna try to stay in the military actually as long as possible because while we're in the military we can use the bah and pay off the mortgage but once he leaves the military he doesn't have the bh anymore so oh i'm gonna cut the birdie in half oh well i still have another one of that one and that one I am that one up there. Um, but anyway, so anyway, he, uh, so we're going to try to stay in as long as possible. And hopefully that means he can get nine before we get out or before he gets out. And that means hopefully he will be at, uh, 25, 30 years. Um, and hopefully it also means a, much lower uh, mortgage by the time we get out because if you pay on the mortgage for 10 years it's going to be lower than when you started just by default all right so i'm actually going to save all these with the exception of this first one that i did the super well we'll go ahead and keep it for now i don't feel like digging through that i'm just going to put this whole shebang in my scraps all right and then i'm going to take these guys here and now I've got a whole bunch of these guys and so these are all going to be various um, journals <laughs> I was gonna get it out eventually um, so these are all going to be various journals uh, something that we can do is we can put, wait, what? Oh, that's the, fr okay. I was like, wait a minute. What just happened? Okay. So something we can do is we can cover the backs. This is actually really pretty. So I'm probably going to cover the big portions that you know is upside down. Uh, like the bird birds and the writing. So I'm going to keep this one until last um, I know we're going to play with that one. These guys, I'm going to do some fabric covering. We could do fabric. We could also do, um, napkins. We could also do paper. I don't know that I have fabric right here. I do have fabric, a lot of fabric actually. Um, Let's see. Wait. Let's do guys. Here. I still have to do this haul with you guys so I can get these bags out of the middle of my floor because I have two bed. I have two big bags in the middle of my office floor. Um. All right. So there's this one here, which I did share with you guys. I got this off of Etsy. Um, I found this on Etsy 
Oh gosh, when did I find this on Etsy? Found it a minute ago. All right, so we're gonna go. Um, these aren't fabric scissors, but it'll be all right. All right, so I'm just gonna throw this straight down. I'll use this a couple times. Okay, apparently we're gonna use it a lot more than a couple. All right, so hold that. I will fold you back up in a moment. All right. Oh my gosh, jeez. Okay, so. Now we're going to, I'm gonna cut a little bit more than I need, just a tiny bit. So I can not fray it, but what's it called? Um, I have to find, I believe they're right here actually. Yeah. Um, what are these called? Uh, painting shears. Yeah, I'm going to pink it. That's not right. Shear it? No, it's not wool. I don't know. I'm going to cut it with pinking shears. All right. So there's one. And I'm just going to cut however many I can from this one little piece here. All right. There's two. Now, how many of you were just yelling at me what the answer to that riddle was? It's painting shoes. I do that. Do you guys do that? Do you start yelling at the YouTuber? Like when they ask you a question and you're just like, it's this. Or, hey, where's my whatever? Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Okay, so I was on the phone the other day with a friend of mine. And um, she was just like, Okay, do you remember that thing that I was just holding in my hand? And, oh gosh, I don't even remember what it was. Um, oh, it was her tape. It was her double-sided tape, like score tape. Um, so anyway, she was just like, you remember that double-sided tape I literally just had in my hands two seconds ago? And I was like, yeah. She's like, where is it? I was like, I have no idea. I was like, put me down. Like, sh show me your table. And as soon as she showed me her table, I was just like, it's right there. And she's like, wait a minute. It's like different perspective. <laughs> you ha are, I have not been sitting there staring at the same table for the last 20 minutes looking for this thing. You have. <laughs> I swear, I think that's like the thing with my kids. I'll say, hey, go get this, that, or another out of the laundry room or garage or whatever. And nobody can seem to find it. I go in there, two seconds. I know exactly where it is for one. I go in there, I grab it, and it's done. It's over. They're like, I don't understand. Do you have x-ray vision? I was like, no. I just have normal vision. No x-ray needed. All right, so we're going to have just a smidge left here. And this is actually a great size to play with. Because um, you can use it in cards and tags and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to put it in my little... This is kind of like a Valentine slash springy basket that I have collecting over here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. All right. Now we just need to make sure that everything that we put down is upside down. And this is right side up. This doesn't matter because it's all upside down right side up the whole nine cool beans all right so there is a couple different ways that we can do this we can um adhere it with glue or we can use heat and bond and do i have my map yes i do okay I had to look to see if I had my mat. I don't have my iron plugged in, but I can throw some ribbon on the floor. Just went behind my trash can. 
all right so we're gonna put this down and this is my like catch all everything mat uh i've done some inking on it ironing yeah whatevs all right so next. oops we're gonna um grab that that which fell flip it back over luckily there was a lid on it on both of them because this was one of those things that fell um because i don't know about you guys but i just have this habit of like pile 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 until finally it falls down and goes boom um which is exactly what i'm doing right now i'm just piling it all back up so anyway there's some of the paper um i actually had this pulled out for other reasons but we can use it on this as well i don't know why i just took it out of the bag back in the bag right over there and you over there all right so we're going to go with glue until we can get this um iron heated up all right, this is for challenging. I still need to do that. Uh, where's my iron? There it is. Okay. And I have a plug under here. What's my time? 20 minutes. All right. Okay. All right. Like up. All right, so that's actually not going to take very long to heat up, but I do need to find the heat and bond, which is right here. I use the purple so I can iron on it. Um, not so I can iron on it, but so I can um, watch my face. So, so I can sew on it. You can also do rice paper. That's another option. All right. I'm going to put you, can I put two of you on? Is that going to fit? That's one. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to do two. All right, I'll just do this one. Go all the way down here. Too bad I can't just cut it. Like, you know, snip and rip like I do the fabric. That would be cool. But alas, I cannot. I lied. Yes, I can. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, maybe not that side. That was like, nope. So there's one. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. I don't know if I'm going to use all seven, but we'll do one more at least. Um, yep, we'll do one more because that is the extent of my heat and bond. Okay, and then we'll just leave it at that. And that's not the extent of my heat and bond. That is the extent of this heat and bond. Did I do it this way? I think I did it this way. Um, I actually have a bolt up there. A bolt of heat and bond. Because it's awesome. Not supposed to do that. Okay. All right, so we'll just do the two and we'll use this for something else. So I don't ever throw my mind away, I just save it for 
eventually I'll be able to use parts of it. That or I can Frankenstein it together. I can do that. Alright, hold that. Alright, so we're at 20 minutes. Hold that. Hold that. Okay. And I'm just going to grab my parchment paper. Um, I'm going to grab some new parchment paper because these are gluey, like gluey parchment. So I'm going to grab some new ones here. All right. Amazon. You can get these on Amazon. I'll see if I can't remember to grab the link. Um, that way you guys can just see it where I got mine. All right. So I've got two out. That way I can just lay it down. And then got this one here and lay it down. All right. Cool. All right. So this is heat and bond. You literally just... You heat it, and you bond it. Hence the name. So we're going to go ahead and do two of these. And then we'll figure something else out for the rest of them. We're probably not going to do all 12 today, obviously. Um, but you can do paper, tissue paper, um... Oh, it might be fun. I actually have some tissue paper that I can use for the Christmas one. Because there is a Christmas one. And it is... Every time I turn this iron on, it like surges my lights. Do you guys ever notice that? Oh my gosh. It's crazy. Anyway, um, I don't remember where I got the paper from, but I do have some Christmas tissue paper I can use. Um... I was going to say, did I put this on the right way? But I didn't put it on any way at the moment. I'm just putting the glue on it. You could also use heat and bond to, to do napkins. That's a very expensive way to do the napkins, but effective. Um, basically, you could use it in any place that you use glue. So I'm just going to grab this, I'm going to set it aside, and I'm going to grab that out. And then I'm going to grab the other one. Hold that. So, how you guys doing? How you been? Pretty water. Um, I have in there uh, blueberry. I use a water. It's called AHA. It's A-H-A. I really like it. Uh, I also like LaCroix. LaCroix is another one that I really, really like. Uh, but what I have in there right now is AHA. And it's blue, one can of blueberry, one can of watermelon lime, and one packet of fruit punch crystal light. It's actually quite yummy. I like mixing stuff up. Uh, mostly so I don't get tired of it because I get bored really easy. So I like mixing stuff up, trying different things. So what is your favorite drink? Do you, do you like soda? I used to be a really, really big Dr. Pan, Dr. Pan, Dr. Pepper fan. 
uh, when I started the Noom, I actually um, just stopped completely like cold turkey. I wish I brought my phone with me because um, we learned something today in the Noom. And I need to print because I took some screenshots and I need to print them out so I can put them in a journal or something because I really want to remember them. Um, but basically, it just talked about how um, we change our actions based on our surroundings. So if you're in a group of people, um, those that group of people can actually determine whether or not you do something you would ordinarily do by yourself. Um, and it's not that they're necessarily trying to. But um, it's like you have, you feel like you want to be in the majority. So you change how you would do things to meet that majority. And also when it's in a group setting, things seem to get a little extreme to amplify the acceptance or the I'm part of the majority, you know, feeling that people get. Um, and it was, it was just really, really cool because I was just like, you know, that's pretty amazing that that's a thing. I mean, it's, it's true, and I understand that. Um, all right, so I'm definitely going to do this because it matches. I wonder if it's the same artist. It looks very similar. You guys think it looks similar? I think it looks really similar. Anyway, I thought it was pretty interesting uh, to read about and the advice that it says, because it always gives advice, like it tells you um, like how things are in reality, but then it also gives you advice as to how to deal with those realities, because sometimes reality is not very nice, you know, like um, one of their favorites is food pushers. And uh, they, they like to mention um, your auntie you know, whoever your auntie might be, but it's always your auntie who is, um, why aren't you eating my apple pie? Is it not good enough for you? Like, oh, have some more. It's good for you, even though it's fudge and it's full of sugar and you know, whatever. Um, those are called, those are called food fishers. Um, and they're in everyday life. They really are. Um, like our parents, when we were younger, you have to eat everything on your plate because there's people in Africa starving. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And it was just, I don't know. It's just really funny. Um, so uh, now I have to do it a little bit at a time because um, I don't want to get the glue on my mat. So anyway, um, yeah. It, it's, it is very interesting and I really, really enjoy the program a lot. Um, but the thing that we learned about today was about like kind of taking control of your own mind and your own actions. Don't let people push you around into making decisions or behaving differently than you would ordinarily. Um, and there was one thing very specific in particular, and I wish I would have grabbed my phone. Um, I learn more from writing. So if I write it down, I will remember it. If I read it, I will remember it for a while. If I say it, eh, I'll remember it for a little while. And if I hear it, eh, I might remember it. <laughs> In like a couple years, I'll remember it because my long-term memory is really good. My short-term memory, not, not so hot. Like, it's bad. Um, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. And I can't even text Wayne to be like, Hey, will you bring me my phone? Because I don't have my phone. <laughs> so we're just stuck here ironing anyway. Um, but I really enjoy the app. Um, one of the things that it's got me doing, it's kind of like an ongoing process is, um, it's an experiment and the experiment uh, is you get to pick your own experiment. So it's not like, you know, they're deciding anything for you. And on 
very conveniently happened over the holidays, but it had lined up just perfectly that it had given me the day off. And so where I wasn't logging my food or anything like that. And I had actually done really terrible. Um, I thought I did really well, but then it kept giving me days off and I was like, ah, no, don't stop doing that. Um, so my own personal experiment is to try to do better with the whole days off. Um, because I want to eventually get to where I'm not logging my food all the time. I'm just listening to my body, eating what I feel is needed for my body. And whereas I didn't gain any weight over the holidays, which is a huge win because the mass majority of the American population gains weight over the holidays. I did not gain any weight. I just didn't lose any either. Um, my sister-in-law and my doctor both are completely astounded that I've lost any weight at all because, um, according to my doctor, I've lost three pounds, uh, since the last time she saw me. And that was one over the holidays, as well as in addition to me quitting smoking. So both my sister-in-law and my doctor are both like completely floored at the fact that I have not gained weight. And I'm like, you and me both. <laughs> oh my gosh, my tooth is starting to hurt right here. Ah, uh, I think I might need to go back to the dentist. So the last time I went to the dentist a couple years ago, he told me that um, I probably needed a crown. Well, um, we have military insurance, so it caps out every year. And at the time, um, my insurance was capped. So I was just like, all right, well, what can you do that will fix it out? That will fix it, at least for the time being. He's like, well, I can put another filling in it, but you're going to need a crown. I was like, all right, cool. So let's do that. So we did that. And that was about a year and a half ago. Now my tooth hurts again. <laughs> I feel like it might be crown time, but fortunately it is a reset on my insurance. So I can actually go and get a crown. Assuming the dentist office is even open. I have no idea if they're even open, which they probably are. Cause they keep sending me text messages like, Hey, you're overdue for your, your cleaning. I'm like, yeah, we're kind of in the middle of a pandemic right now. Sorry. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I have a question for you guys. Oh, crap. So I have a question for you guys. Um, my oldest daughter has like three canker sores in her mouth and she can't get rid of them. Like for one, she's very impatient. She wants them gone now. And everything that I've found on canker sores says that it takes weeks to get rid of them. So, anybody got any suggestions on, one, why she keeps getting them? Because it's not the first time she's ever had them. And two, how in the world she gets rid of them. All right, so there's one. We're going to cut that up. And it's going to sit like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I like that. I like that a lot. Could do that. Actually, we could do that. And just kind of sew around the bottom and the top. We could sew all the way around it. Oh, that would be score. Yes. All right, we're going to do it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to have to take some ibuprofen. I'm going to do that while this thing is on the, on the thing thing. I have ibuprofen like right here. Um, because I have migraines so often, I start with ibuprofen. And it's just, it's just ibuprofen. And I only take two, so. I used to take 800 milligrams at a time. 
That stuff is so bad for your liver. So bad. But, mmm, ow. That felt good. So my drink is slightly cold. All right. So there's that one. That's cool. Ow, that's warm. That is the opposite of cool. And I'm just peeling the glue off of that. Every time that I'm doing this, I'm just peeling glue off of my parchment paper. That's all. So I don't end up with glue all over my cover. Which isn't the worst, like, it's not the worst thing in the world because I do have a glue eraser. Um, that I got from the Dollar Tree, actually, and it works really well. It's amazing the things that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And then the last piece here. Uh, let's pull off some of this glue. I don't think we need quite that much. Yes. My move goal has been achieved. I always get my move goal before my stand up goal. This is really funny to me. I took a walk today. First time I took a walk in, um, since I went to the hospital uh, for pulling my calf muscle. It's the first time I took a walk. Like an actual, like, not we're just going to the grocery store or, you know, whatever. Even when we went to the grocery store, I still, I didn't really walk around that much. It was um, go in, get what we need, get out type of thing. All right, cool. Now, we can actually do this either or. We can use this as the cover or we can use this as a cover. That is so cool. And then I'm going to sew around the edge as well. But I really like this. And I've got um, I've got corner pieces I can put on the corners here. <sighs> that is so, so cool. All right. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Let's find another one. For ooh, this one's pretty. This one's got birdies too. I think they all have birdies, actually. Fairly certain they all have birdies. Alright, let's see. What goes with you? Well, that's pretty fitting. The bike with the bikes. Let's do that. Alright. Okay. Oh, I was like, wait, something's wrong. <laughs> yes, something is wrong. I have to peel the paper off the fabric. Yep. All right, I'm just grabbing some of this excess glue. We don't need all of that. Just going to end up on my mat here. And I didn't do this with the last one. And yes, I ended up with glue on my mat. That's all right. Because it's just kind of a catch-all, do-all mat. That's all right. Let's see. All that extra glue. Okay. So, you're upside down. We need you to get which one looks the most right side up. That way. I think they both look decently upside down, right side up, because it's like all kinds of different directions. Alright. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way, because I'm probably, I say probably, and then probably going to end up happening, but I am probably not going to go all the way to the edge with my iron. I'm just trying to scoot it over a little bit so I don't have the white part on my cover. Because I think I'm going to trim this one. And then, um, and then sew around the edges and whatnot. Okay, so with this, because I'm going directly on the fabric, I'm kind of hovering. I'm not really pressing all of, like I am, but I pick it back up and I kind of just hover. I mean, you could press it all the way down. I don't think that there's a problem. You just have to be really careful because I don't have any parchment between my iron and this fabric. And it's cotton. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'm going to burn. I mean, it will eventually. All right. Let's double check and make sure that we're attached everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. All right. So we need to go here and here. So it's just on the edges. glue on the edge there. I don't want it on my fabric.
just picking up the glare so it's not going to end up on my project. Because I've seen this done a lot of times. Um, but I'm not sure if people are picking up the glue off of their parchment paper. But it will absolutely transfer onto your paper where you don't want it to. Other parts of your fabric. Like the paper you can get off because you can just, you know, rub it with your, um, uh, let's see. Where is my thing? Okay, I can't find it right now. And I don't want this to burn. Um, but it's an eraser. Oh, it's right there. And you can just rub it with your eraser and get it off. Like, there you go, right there. Okay, hold that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna unplug my iron now because I'm done with it and I need it to cool off before I can put it away. Because I actually stow it underneath my desk. Um, there's like a little shelf cabinet thing under my desk and I stick it under there. All right, so hold that, hold that. And there you are. It's like, I know that I just cut, uh, I wonder if my trimmer will cut it. I actually trust my trimmer more than these scissors because I just got these scissors and I don't want to dull them up. Cut it. <laughs> okay, fine. All right. Well, scissors it is. All right. Be good to me, scissors. And see, this fabric here is actually pretty awesome because it's already got the heat and bond on it, and um, which is one adhesive, uh, so you can use it on. Pretty much anything. I mean, you'd have to heat it back up, but you can also just glow it. I think there's an error bubble right there. I'll have to fix that. Iron's still hot. I think it's done. Yep. All right. Ow. 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 Okay. We're going to wait a second. Because <laughs> that's warm. All right. I just looked up and I swear I thought it said start recording. And I was like, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Although I have done that before. <laughs> Many videos that you guys have never seen because it said start recording. And I was like, yeah, nope. I am not doing that all over again. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, and so the glue eraser is literally as easy as that. There was actually a pretty big chunk of glue right there. And it is all gone. Why did my watch just turn into butterflies? Not that I'm complaining, but like it just turned into butterflies. Hmm, interesting. All right. So anyway, I'm going to take this. 
and we're going to fold it in half. And that, my dears, is going to be one of our covers. And with all of the... Could put it on the inside. Kind of want it on the outside, though. That's really cute. So anyway, with all of the paper covers, I will um, put something on the spine to make sure to secure it a little bit better. Um, this one is going to get sewn around, so I'm not going to fold it just yet. Actually, this one needs to get sewn around, too. So, I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to have to sew around that, too. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I could do some lace while I'm at it. Because, you know, it wouldn't be mine without lace. That's actually really pretty. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay. So I'm just going to do like a simple tack because I'm going to sew this. Like I'm going to sew it down on the sides and across as well. Yeah. So we're just going to do something super simple. Just enough to get it on the thing thing. And I'm going to sew these. There we go. And it'll lay flat for a little bit, so it'll be all right. Um, and my, I need to replace this pen because before I realized what I was doing with the pens, I was trying to unclog my glue with the pens. That is such a bad idea. <laughs> you will damage your pens. All right. So we're just going to let that be for now and that's it. So we've got two covers, well, almost done. Um, and I'll get those sewn around, and then we'll just continue to work on those um, throughout, you know, what's, whatevs until they're done. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you had fun watching me, you know, play with some journal covers. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.